Six Essential SEO Secrets to Rank Your Content High in Search Engines Introduction The internet is becoming one of the main ways for you to make your business successful. Whether you own a motel, restaurant, or write a blog, it is important that you have an online profile that represents your brand and the benefits of it. You will also need people to find your site or blog from online searches. If you own a pet store, then you want your results to pop up not only when someone types in the best pet store, but also when they search the best place to shop for pet supplies in your city. You really want to make sure your business appears on the first page of Google when someone searches specifically for what you offer. In order to make sure that you achieve high rankings for your content, you will need to learn about SEO, which stands for Search Engine Optimization. When SEO is done right, it will provide you with the best chance of people finding your business when searching online. Don't know much about SEO? Once you are armed with these six SEO secrets, you will increase your knowledge significantly. These SEO secrets come from SEO experts, and today we're sharing them with you. Get ready to learn the tips and tricks you need in order to SEO optimize your website pages so you have the best chance of them appearing high in the search engine results. Number one, keyword research. In this section, we're going to discuss the important topic with you, keywords. SEO doesn't involve coming up with your own search phrase and spreading it throughout your article. It involves keyword research and you cannot skip this part. When it comes to keywords, there's no room to play a guessing game. Keywords are one of the most important things you need to know about and use correctly when you're looking at SEO optimizing your pages. What's a keyword? A keyword is basically a word or phrase that relates to your business. It is the word or phrase that when someone types it into the Google search bar, you would like your web page to appear in the top spot in the results list. When your web page appears on the first page of the search engine results, people will trust that you have the information that they are looking for. Why are keywords important? Keywords are the way that Google and other search engines will lead people to your page. There are other factors Google will use in order to determine your ranking within the results, but your keywords are the main reason you're found in the search results to begin with. Without those keywords, your web page is far less likely to appear in the right search results. Google and the other search engines wouldn't know whether or not your content was relevant to the search terms being entered by users. Long story short, keywords are your way to have some control over whether you show up in the results in a search engine. Keywords give your site the opportunity to appear in certain searches and not in others, and the control is all in your hands. If you do not perform keyword research, then all of your SEO efforts will be in vain. Why keyword research? By performing keyword research, you will be able to identify the search terms that people are using to find information in your niche. It is not difficult to perform keyword research, but you will need to do this properly to achieve the best results. You can outsource this work on a freelance website such as Fiverr.com if you prefer. The other main reason to perform keyword research is to identify the search volume for specific search terms. You do not want to put in a lot of SEO effort for a term that gets less than 10 searches a month, for example. Another factor that you need to take into account is the competitiveness of the keywords. Google provides a free tool for you to conduct your keyword research. In order to use this tool, you'll need a free Google account, Gmail email address, and a free Google Ads account. Don't worry, you will not have to spend any money here. The tool is called the Google Keyword Planner. This is a great tool, which will not only tell you the search volume of specific keywords, but will also come up with other keyword suggestions that are related to your niche. You can download the keyword information that you find in a spreadsheet for future reference. Keyword competition. Another important aspect of keyword research is the competitiveness of the keywords. If you have a business about losing weight, then there is no way that you are going to rank on the first page of Google for a keyword like weight loss it is far too competitive. The Google Keyword Tool will not show you how competitive each keyword is. To find this, you will need to use a service like Ubersuggest or Arefs. You can sign up for Ubersuggest for free and obtain a limited amount of data with their free plan. Arefs is only available as a paid service. What you are looking for is keyword terms that have good search volume and are low competition. They are often referred to as long tail keywords and they are a good place for you to start. 
New keywords appear often in certain niches, so keep a master keyword list and be prepared to update it. Number two, learn about on-page SEO. The reason Google knows your site exists and knows what it is about is because of on-page SEO. On-page SEO is all about the way that you optimize your web pages and is completely within your control. This is different from off-page SEO, which are external links from other websites, also known as backlinks. On-page SEO tells Google and the other search engines exactly what your web pages are about. There are different components of on-page SEO. The content of your site. This is what the individual searcher is actually looking for, so it's what Google makes the highest priority. On-page SEO requires that you have a title tag. The title tag is what appears in the search engine results, usually in blue. It is important that you create a good title tag that contains at least one of your keywords so that Google and the other search engines can rank you higher. Also, an enticing article is more likely to get the click from people who are searching. On-page SEO also demands that you have a keyword-rich URL. The URL should tell individuals what your web page is about. If you have a URL that consists of a chain of random letters and numbers, then it's not going to rank high and visitors aren't going to understand it. Use a keyword in your URL. Structuring your website. You need to know how to structure your website properly for on-page SEO. If your site has a good structure, then Google's spiders or crawlers will be able to browse your web pages better and locate the essential keyword information they need. This will help to rank higher in the search engine results without a lot of effort on your side. Create a form of hierarchy. In order to structure your site, you will want to create a form of hierarchy with your web page information. What we mean here is that you will begin with your home page, and this will branch off into different categories to other pages on your site. These pages will have a couple of links to a few of your other pages, which in return will have some links to a couple of other pages and so on. Think of this as if you were building a pyramid of sorts. When you are building your pyramid, the most important thing to remember is to make sure your order makes sense. Obviously, you don't want to have the bottom of the floor on the top, right? We recommend keeping between two to seven links to main categories from your homepage. The WordPress blogging platform is ideal for website structures as it will do most of this automatically for you. Your URLs. When building the structure of your site, you need to pay attention to the format of your URLs. It is important that your URLs contain relevant keywords. Each URL should follow the structure that your pages follow. This way, the search engines will be able to understand the structure of your site and it will provide a better experience for your visitors at the same time. Simple navigation. Keep your website navigation as simple as possible. What this means is that in order to access the information on your site, your visitors would only need to click once, twice, or three times. If you have to click any more than this, it may be hard for them to find the information they want. The last thing you want to do is confuse your visitors, because a confused visitor probably isn't going to stick around to see what you're all about. Simple navigation will also make it easier for those search engine crawlers to find your information, and this helps them to categorize your pages correctly. Provide a menu. A navigation menu in your page header will help your visitors. This is very easy to add when you are using the WordPress blogging platform. Menus also assist the search engine crawlers to identify the structure of your website. Use internal links on your pages. Using internal links on your pages is a good thing because it will help your visitors to find related content on your website. People tend to stay longer on websites that have useful internal links, and this is good for SEO as well. The major search engines like internal linking as they know that it helps visitors to navigate around your website. You will probably have heard of Wikipedia, which tends to rank very high in the search engine results. This site uses a lot of internal linking. You see, the way you structure your site is very important. So make sure you follow the structure tips above as this will increase your chances of placing higher in the search results. Number three, using your keywords. By now, you should have your keywords selected. The trick is how you use those keywords. You use a lot of keywords in your article, obviously. So how does Google know which words to pick up as keywords for your SEO? Well, 
That is where keyword placement comes into play. We recommend including some of your keywords in the first paragraph and last paragraph of your article and naturally sprinkle other keywords throughout the rest of your text. Make sure you pay attention to your keyword density. Keyword density is the percentage of keywords you use in comparison to the rest of the words in the article. The best keywords density to aim for is between 1 to 3%. This will give Google the opportunity to notice your keywords, but it will keep the content readable for your site visitors. Duplicate content versus original content. Always publish original content on your website. Unique content will help your SEO, while duplicate content will kill your SEO. This is because if you have posted the exact same information on your site as another site, the search engines don't know which site to rank above or below the other. On the other hand, if the content you publish is completely original, the search engines do not have to worry about separating you from any other search results. So whatever you do, do not copy someone else's content. Usability is important. Usability is also important for SEO. We understand that it may be difficult to see how usability and SEO are related because usability is something that is experienced by visitors who have already found your site. However, it really is not something you should ignore. It is important because when a site has good usability, visitors will be more likely to return and they might even refer you or link to your content. If your site is complicated and difficult to browse, you can forget about people sharing your site with their friends. Due to this, if your site is easy to use, then it can have a positive effect on your SEO. Mobile support is important for SEO because most people who are browsing the internet are doing so via their smartphones these days. This is something that the search engines are already aware of, and they take this into account when they're ranking your pages in search engine results. Number four, Google can use humans as well as their crawlers to rate you. Not only does Google rate your website content with spiders, crawlers, and online algorithms, but it can also use human raters as well. These raters go to your page and judge it based on Google's search quality guidelines. The guidelines update on a regular basis, so you need to stay on top of them so that you optimize your SEO with human raters in mind. There are more than 10,000 people who rate search engine results throughout the world. Google hires them to help with their ranking system. These raters are sent off with keywords to search and then they rate the results that appear. This way, Google can make sure real people are happy with the search results that they receive. Google's ranking team looks at the information you have on your pages, and they also look at you as the author of the site. This makes it important for you to have an About Me or About Us page on your site. Failure to do this can result in lower search engine rankings. Human raters also check your site to make sure it contains useful and interesting information that relates to the keywords that are being searched. There are some sites out there that simply write with as many keywords as they can in an attempt to appear high in the search results. These pages are not beneficial to visitors. Google found out that people have been doing this and they are fixing this problem by using these human raters and other methods. Number five, make your pages readable. This is another one of those topics that may find it hard to see having an impact on SEO. This is one of those things your visitors experience on your site and not when they're looking at your site from the search engine results. However, like usability, readability will keep your visitors returning to your site. It may also entice them to refer your site to their friends or even link it from their own website. The content you place on your site should be interesting and informative. Number six, off-page SEO, external links. You want to get as many high quality external links to your website as you can. Google and the other search engines see these links as a vote for your site. These external links or backlinks still play a major role in how well your pages rank in the search results. Make sure that you add your website URL to all of your social profiles, such as Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. If you have a YouTube channel, then add your URL here too. You can provide guest posts for authority websites in your niche as a link back from these sites will help with your SEO. Be careful of low quality backlinks. If you have a lot of inferior quality links pointing to your website, then this can harm your SEO. Don't buy backlinks as you never know how good they are. Ask the owners of related websites to link to yours. Most will say no, but others may provide you with a link. Conclusion and your checklist. 
SEO is a complex subject, and we have provided you with six powerful secrets here to improve your chances of ranking your web pages high in the search engine results. Here's a useful checklist for you. Identify the relevant keywords for your site using keyword research. Pay attention to the placement of those keywords. Don't forget about keyword density, first and last paragraph, and sprinkle naturally throughout your article. Use title tags. Your URLs should include your keywords. Structure your site in a logical manner. Do not post duplicate content on your site. Your content should be readable and usable. The site should be mobile friendly. Stay up to date with Google search guidelines. Write high quality content, don't just use keywords. Get as many high authority backlinks as you can. These SEO secrets should help you to rank your web pages higher in the search engine results. This will help to increase your traffic to your site. So use these secrets today and ensure that your web pages are all SEO optimized.